and welcome back to my channel okay welcome back so today's video is a requested video and I had some people give me some questions along with some questions on Instagram but they were all pretty much the same questions but I am going to go over my mommy makeover questions now remember I haven't had it yet as of recording this video I haven't had it yet however I'm probably recovering right now so this is just questions regarding the prices you know what I didn't even get my um hold on <laughs> Okay, anyways, I have it on my phone because I actually sent it to my friend, the breakdown of my surgery yesterday. So if you see me referring to my phone or to notes, just ignore me because I'm literally doing this so that I can, there it is. All right, so I'll be able to break down the price and everything to you guys. I'm going to tell you guys who my doctor is, how he came about, how did I choose him after all of the doctors that I researched, how did I know that he was the one all kind of cool questions like that okay so the first question i wrote them down when i could have just looked at my phone because you know i gotta write things down sometimes so this question is from ashley davis on youtube and she wants to know the procedure prices so let's go over the procedure prices really really quick okay so my whole entire procedure including anesthesia and the facility fee is $19,305, okay? That's the whole entire cost with everything, okay? So how it is broken down is like this. So the procedure fees just by themselves, like without anesthesia and all that, is 14,000. So that's the cost for the work that I'm getting is 14,000. The anesthesia fee is 2,000 and the facility fee is, y'all, I don't know, these are prescriptions, so just hold on. The facility fee is $3,305. So I'm gonna just keep these on really quick because I'm over here struggling trying to look at these numbers. Let me put this bigger too. All right, so for a full abdominal plasty, it was $6,200, okay? That's just the tummy tuck and the lipo that comes with it, $6,200. And you guys know that I'm getting a mommy makeover, so there's multiple things that I'm getting. So with the implant exchange, and the boob lift it is fifty two hundred dollars but because i'm getting a mommy makeover i received twenty six hundred dollars off of that so typically a lift and implants with him would be five six seven seventy eight hundred dollars so that's what his cost would be just for that i guess for that procedure but that's not including anesthesia and all that kind of stuff um, liposuction in the first area that I am choosing is, oh shit, I just lost it. Oh wait, hold on, I got it. Okay, liposuction in the first area um, is $2,000, but because I um, am getting it with the mommy makeover, it was $2,000. This is from what I'm reading and how I understand it. Liposuction in three additional areas, psych in two additional areas, um, is only a thousand dollars each because I am getting it with the mommy makeover and I'm already getting liposuction. So, um, liposuction, like I said, in my arms is only a thousand dollars for both of them, and it would be two thousand dollars typically. And then also, I forgot, let's go ahead, I forgot with the whole boob situation, I'm getting silicone implants, so that is twenty two hundred dollars. So, if you want to just talk about the boobs. In general, if I didn't have any discounts, just so that you guys would know his prices, and just because these are my prices doesn't mean that they be your prices, because I don't wanna say that that's what everything is, okay? So, with the boob lift, 5,200. Um, 52, what would I say, $7,800? Plus an additional 2,200. That would be the price for the boob lift, the silicone implants, and all that kind of stuff. So it is, he is pricey, but he is one of the top surgeons in Nashville, Tennessee. And I do not go for the cheapest. I go for um, reputation, and I go for safety, and I go for convenience as well. So obviously that's why I'm having it done in Nashville. And his work is amazing to his belly buttons. My main concern with this, not main concern because my life's my main concern, but as far as aesthetics, my belly button was like a big deal, okay? And like the scars and stuff like that. So those are the prices. 
So actually, I hope that answers your question. Sorry if it was confusing. Trust me, if you had to look at that sheet, you'd be like, what the hell is going on here too? Okay, she also asks um, the deposit cost. So, so for my doctor that I chose, I had to pay, was it $75 for a consultation fee, which is normal, or like $175, I really don't even remember, but that gets to, that is added towards your cost. So I didn't lose out on that money, that was added to my cost, so basically whatever it was that I owed um, on the day when I had to pay, I didn't owe $75 of it. And to set your date, they required me to put down a $500 non-refundable deposit. Of course, if I were to get sick and I couldn't you know, get my surgery that day because it's unsafe, I'm not gonna lose that money, I'm just gonna go to a different date. My surgeon is technically, or the last time I spoke to the scheduling coordinator, he was booked out, um, he only had a few dates left in December, so he is highly sought after. Um, cash or financing? So I'm, I'm gonna answer the question like this, because everybody, it, it's different for plastic surgery. Um, this isn't my first go around, I've had my boobs done before. I. I feel like if you want to get plastic surgery, it's extremely important for you to be able to afford it, okay? You don't want to put yourself in hella debt over something like that. And if there's nothing wrong with like, so a good way to build your credit would to be, I think they take like care credit and prosper. Um, if you can make those payments, that's a good way and you're already like hella good with your credit and stuff like that. If you just want to keep adding and building, that's fine. If you can pay it all off right then and there, go ahead and do that. Um, you don't have to put down a thing. We actually put down a nice amount of money. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so my stuff is, is good to go. As far as um, everybody else, if, if it's gonna put you in a financial hardship, uh, don't do it. You should be disciplined enough to save that money up. Or if you're, even if you have the money saved up and you wanna take out like a Prosper or a CARE credit really quick and then pay it off next month, that's a great idea too. Like just to show that you made a big payment, like Bryce and I do that sometimes. We'll, uh, we'll put down whatever we wanna put down and then like we'll pay it off within like two or three months, like whatever it is that we purchase. And we do that, not that we don't have the money available to pay for it right then and there. We just, girl, I can take this off now. We just do that to be smart. And Bryce and I have extremely great credit. Like our credit is A1, we have amazing credit. So, um, what's the other question? How many doctors did I meet with? I met with two doctors physically, and I'm not gonna lie you guys, I did check in to go into the Dominican Republic only because I liked this one doctor's, which I'm not gonna say her name, I loved her belly buttons. So you guys know I'm not getting a BBL, so no, I'm not going out there to get a BBL, I wasn't going out there because it was cheaper. This doctor, her belly buttons were just amazing. Like, hello girl, okay? So <laughs> I got, I had numerous quotes from doctors in the Dominican Republic, and then I got smart, not saying that y'all are stupid that did it, but me personally, um, it's not the language barrier. I don't speak Spanish and it just started scaring me. I started seeing other things of people dying and then there were rumors of other doctors performing the, um, the procedures that the doctor was claiming were like multiple doctors, too many surgeries in a day. I don't have time for that. I'm not risking my life for that. Um, that's just a bigger risk, okay? A risk that I'm not willing to take and especially since it's in a whole different country. Like you can't even drink alcohol right there over there right now, I'm not about to do that. And if I did do it, I would have canceled it with all that's going on. I would have lost whatever money, whatever, my life is not worth it. So I did meet with another doctor in Nashville, but this is about two and a half years ago. And then for some reason, I came across, which is Samantha Arnold's question, hey girl. So she wants to know who my doctor is, and then Ashley Davis also wanted to know, how did I go about choosing? So, with me, I am all about quality and not quantity, okay? So yes, of course, like, I don't wanna spend a million dollars getting my stuff done. However, me being an esthetician, I know that my prices were not the cheapest either, and that's because of my certifications. Uh, my skill and everything like that. So I never want to go to the cheapest person ever, <laughs> okay? And that's with anything. I don't want to do that. 
I want my doctors to know their worth and he, his work, I came across him on Instagram, okay? And I actually got a few quotes from people. All right, my whole camera just cut off. But anyways, I did receive other quotes from other doctors around in the United States as well. And for convenience, I decided to get it done in Nashville and for skill. So I found him on Instagram and I fell in love with his belly buttons and his boobs. I was like, oh my gosh. So it was awesome because this is gonna be easier recovery for me because I can recover at home. I don't have to uh, recover in a foreign area. And I'm you know, speaking as far as a foreign country or just a foreign area, period, that I am not used to living in. So that is gonna be easier. I feel like it makes your recovery easier because I do know what it feels like to have plastic surgery and it ain't fun, okay? It ain't fun. <laughs> so yes, I chose Dr. Robbins, Chad Robbins, located in Nashville, Tennessee. And honestly, I knew he was my doctor when I met with him for a consultation. He was so accommodating and super friendly. Like I had to bring Ollie with me, Bryce and I did. And I feel like this is crooked if it is my bad. He was just like telling me how he was thinking about building an extra room for people that have to bring their kids. He was so nice, he did not rush with me. He actually told me I didn't need something that I wanted to get done. And um, I was like, you're turning away money. That's a good sign because you're being truthful. You know what I'm saying? And I like that. I, I like that he was completely honest with me with everything as far as like my body and it was just very relaxing. Just like I found my boob doctor in California, which was Dr. Z-Work, by the way, in Monterey, California. You just know when you meet them if they're the one. And he was definitely the one. And like, like I said, I had already met with another one as well. So I was willing to pay his prices with no hesitation. Um, I feel extremely comfortable with his ability to, to give me you know, what I'm envisioning. I know it's not gonna be 100% because everybody Everybody here um, heals differently. So I just know that he made me feel super motivated and that's what I needed. So that's when Bryce and I were like, let's go ahead and book him. However, he wouldn't allow me to book a date until I got my heart checked in a mammogram. So that's why it took, from when I went to my consultation, it took like three months because I had to go to primary care and then primary care has to send you to the specialty. And this is going through halfway through the VA and half with like civilian because I'm retired as well. So that can be a little bit slow. So I did that and then as soon as I got my results, and if you guys haven't seen my video, something came back on my mammogram, so I had to go back and get another one for further testing and it was fine. So after that, literally the day that I found out, I called and scheduled and set my date. It was that easy. Cause I have been waiting, this is a long time coming y'all. So yes, those are the questions that you guys asked and um, I hope they answered, I hope I answered them right. I know this video is all over the place. Like I tried to sit over here and write some notes, but I mean, sometimes it doesn't go like that. But thanks again for watching you guys. I don't even know if this video is being released right now. <sighs> like I could be recovering right now when I release this and it's scary. Like I'm so nervous, but just know that if I'm recovering, I'm gonna let you, I might go live more than I typically do when I'm recovering because just to sit there and edit would just be too much. So make sure that you turn your notification bell on so that you guys are able to like get notified if I pop on because who knows how long I will be on for, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I will see y'all later. Thanks again for watching.